there's an audience in heaven that will be watching today. There's an audience, I heard it clear as a bell. There's an audience in heaven that will, will be watching today. So automatically what I thought of was your sister, Shana. I believe God's that good. He would do that. I don't know what that looks like. If it's like God says, hey, I want to show you something here today, Shana, or your parents or grandparents. If it's like this big IMAX theater, that he says, hey, check, check out what's going on down here today. But I believe that he's that good. And that's going on here today, is that there's an audience watching this moment. Well, your big day has arrived. It's awesome. Congratulations. From the beginning, God was hanging out with Adam, let him name the animals, which is pretty cool. But then he was watching Adam and he said, it's not good for him to be alone. And so I was trying to picture in my mind what that looked like for you guys. Like, if God was watching you out on the ranch. It's not good for Tyler to be alone. <laughs> <laughs> but also, he was scanning the earth. He looked down and he said, saw you, Jamie. He said, aha, I've got this figured out. And he brought you two together. I believe that's what's happened here. Tyler, <laughs> you came into my life at exactly the right time, when I wasn't ready, and yet when I needed you the most. Over the past few years, we've experienced great triumphs and little pandemics together. Through it all, you cheered me on when I was strong, you let me vent when I was angry, and you carried my spirit when I wanted to quit. One of the first things I noticed about you is you're quiet. I can't tell you how many times I said, what? Or, huh? Or pretended to hear you when I didn't. <laughs> At the start of our relationship and even now. But I've come to realize your silence is a gift. You listen more than you speak. And when you speak, it's with great purpose. No part of me wants to hide anything from you. Sometimes that means I overshare. But know that your presence slows my obsessions and calms my soul. You are the sweetest, most compassionate, and strongest person I've ever known. I have so much to learn from you. And I'm so grateful that you chose to spend your life with me. Jamie, I love you. Seems like I spent an entire lifetime searching for someone to do life with. Turns out that I wasn't ready for what God had planned for me. I had to be broken and pieced back together in a way that only the divine is capable of doing. I had to struggle, trip, and occasionally fall so that the work could be done in me. I had to laugh, cry, pout, loathe over life's injustices. It seemed like it was a continuous loop of pain and futility, like it was all for nothing. God certainly took his time hammering out the armor on your prince charm. <laughs> and I would do it all over again, because then came you. Your smile caught my eye, but your laugh captured my attention. You are kind and caring, generous and thoughtful. You're an expert at making sure everyone is cared for. You've been a long time coming, and I wouldn't trade you for anything. My cup runs over. I've soaked up all that I can. Yet the fun is just beginning. Our life is just beginning. It would be foolish to think that from here on out that it would be nothing but rainbows and butterflies. But know this, I am pathetically and ridiculously in love with you. Wherever we go, we will go together. Thank you.